let them talk if they want to. Welcome to Let Them Talk. I'm Paul DiRienzo. And I'm Miss Joan Marie Moussi. And our guest, Rumi Misaval, returning, and Eugene Saul. Thank you for joining us here on Let Them Talk. And uh, we're going to talk about some pretty interesting. Uh, well, we've had Rumi on a couple of times. Yeah, I welcome don't know, back. Out there. Welcome Thank back. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about your latest. Uh, rendition here yeah. in New York mm -hmm. and what what you've been up to and I love your hat. Oh, thank you very much. That's great. Uh -huh. it is and of course, Rumi is one of the original Cockettes mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the current archivist of the Cockettes. That's right. And we've uh -huh. got a lot of news on that front too, mm -hmm. which we we'll be do. talking about. Yeah. So what should we start with? How about where you're going to be while you're in New York? Okay, well, uh, I normally tour in uh, April and October, but I'm here uh, early in February this time because uh, to enjoy uh, the beautiful weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because uh, my partner Francois decided to uh, tour with his company from Paris, so he's actually at the kitchen. Great. Beginning tomorrow night, uh, dancing a new premiere of his piece Mimosa, uh, loosely based on the film Is Paris Burning? Oh, Vogue, fantastic. Uh, with his company of four at the kitchen. They play tomorrow night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 o'clock, so come down to the kitchen, and I believe that's uh, 5, 12, West 19th Street. That's right. Uh -huh. All right. Excellent. Uh huh. And then um, the following night on Saturday, uh, February 13th, and the following night, Monday, uh, excuse me, Sunday, February 13th, and, and Monday um, on Valentine's Day, uh, he joins me as a special guest for my tour, A Cocktail and Glamour and Anarchy. Oh. Um, <laughs> here this time with a, a brand new show and a brand new gallery and a brand new off Broadway theater and playing with a live band this time. Oh, I'm fantastic. just thrilled in an ensemble of wonderful dancers. The first show will be a Sunday night at uh, Dumbo Art Center, which is at a 111 Front Street in okay. Dumbo, Brooklyn. Begins at 6 o'clock, and it's free. Uh, the first part of um, the show is filled with many, many wonderful surprises mm -hmm. and uh, old numbers I've recreated this time from the old Coquette shows, choreographed by an original Coquette, uh, Teddy Kern, here from Dance oh, Manhattan. Oh, fantastic. All right. And the second part, I've got nine special guests lined up. <laughs> oh, wow. Evening. So that show is at uh, Dumbo Art Center again, 111 Front Street, 6 o'clock free on Sunday the 13th. Great. The following night, I'm at The Tank, beginning at 9.30, and that's at uh, 534 West 45th Street here in Manhattan. All right, Hell's mm -hmm. Kitchen neighborhood. Uh -huh. Great. Uh -huh. Is there a website, no. one central website that folks can go to to find out? No, really. It's a, uh, I have a very big presence on Facebook, and if you look at my Facebook page at Rumi Missable, all my events, including tonight's episode, is are all out there. Oh, all great. Right. So check your Facebook. And you can always watch our uh, watch this show, take That's it, right. or uh -huh. watch it later on uh, YouTube <laughs> yeah. or, and Facebook. Yeah. Now, Eugene, uh -huh. you're a dancer, correct? Yes. All right, I'm a and dancer. you're dancing with Rumi's show? Yes, I'm joined to his show and I'm really yeah. happy with it. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. And so how did you guys meet? I stole him from Madonna. Oh. <laughs> 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 he actually was in Madonna's dance video. Dance okay, video. great. Yeah, uh, that's true. And we actually met in Click and Drug Party, what, which was in October. Mm -hmm. Okay, in New York. Yes. Mm -hmm. and My last tour. Your last tour. Uh -huh. Now and you're a fairly young person. Did you know who the <laughs> Cockettes were? Or? No, I didn't know anything about it. Um, he told me just to do you want to join to my show, and I really like him, and I really like the people around him, and just the whole party. And I was like, sure, I will be proud of it to do that, to help you, and to be in your show. Mm -hmm. And then um, we met. We met second time in New York here, and. We had a lot of conversations, and he told me actually what is it was about, and he showed me a movie called Elevator Girls in Bondage, yeah. which I, I loved. <laughs> and you started so to find out a little bit more about the Cockettes. Then. Yes, mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it's it, it's an inspiration, right? It's, it's a huge an inspiration, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> We we're, we have a tape, and I was wondering maybe, uh, uh, Rumi, we're going to play a, a video uh, why, sure. from Click and Drag Santos's mm -hmm. party house here That's in New York right, City. That's right. Why should I? Uh, Want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I was here last October, and uh, I do something kind of different every time, and uh, 
I had been a year ago. I had been to a fabulous party here that uh, producers Rob Roth and Gigi Valente present. Oh, called, sure. Uh, Click and drag at Santos Party House once a year. It's kind of a fetish ball. And Fr Francois, I had such a wonderful time that night. I just had to come back. So, I asked the producers this year, "Would you uh, mind if I performed?" And they said oh, we would be thrilled and honored. Mm -hmm. So, at the last minute, uh, Francois was here on his own company. We decided to. Uh, performing click and drag and I actually played this song to him <coughs> that morning on YouTube for the first <laughs> time. He had no time to rehearse because he's here with his company, I'm here with mine. And this is a result. So let's play a little of All right. All right. Francois me a click and drag. Mm -hmm. Things going all through the night, but it is a special and fantastic treat to have with us some of the people who inspired our work for all of these years and continue to inspire us from the original Coquettes. Please give a huge ovation to Rumi of the fabulous Coquettes. a little bit about what we uh, just saw, Rumi. Miss oh my Abella. God, that was uh, Francois and me at Click and Drag at the <laughs> Fetish Ball last October, and uh, it's uh, an annual event uh, thrown by Gigi Valenti and the Rob Roth, and it was so much fun to do. We just had so much fun. Mm -hmm. I and I just want to point out yeah. that uh, another friend of the show shot that video, jo yeah. Joey Jeffries, yes, correct. Uh -huh. has been on several times. Uh -huh. Joey is my videographer here and videos all my performances in New York. Right and, on. Uh, all his footage is going into a film I'm working on now that's just recently wrapped. I'll show a clip of it a little bit later called Children of the Coquettes. Well, now that we've mm -hmm. talked about Joey a little bit, yes. look, that brings me to Lincoln Center. Yes, uh -huh. And I know that you have some news about the Coquette archive. Yes. So uh -huh. why don't you tell us about There's that? There's been an amazing archive of uh, uh, the Coquettes at, uh, that was uh, donated to Lincoln Center by uh, the retired teacher Robert Kuhnquist who was the partner of uh, one of the Cockettes, Martin Warman. And Martin Warman was a later Cockett, I was an early Cockett, who amassed an incredible, wonderful collection. He was also a lyricist for many of the later shows. And he's passed away, and Robert donated uh, his collection to Lincoln Center. 
and uh, for a while it was uh, uh, not being made available to the public and was in storage in Queens and just and I every time I've come to New York up until last visit I've made a collection uh, my own contribution to Martin's collection oh make good it even bigger of the earlier Great. things mm -hmm. so we just found out that in fact the collection has been made available to the public and uh, we're meeting a whole bunch of us are meeting with the curators and the archivists at Lincoln Center to view the collection on February 18th before I return to San Francisco and it looks like we're going to be doing a performance and big show there in October when I come back in October. Oh, fantastic. Uh -huh. All yeah. right. Now, mm -hmm. some of the people attending this meeting are Augusto Machado, yeah, who right. everyone Machado. in New York knows. Sure. Mm -hmm. and Joe Jeffries, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Robert Grunquist, uh, Martin Warman's sister, uh, uh, Jim Campbell, an amazing artist and early Coquette uh, set designer. And this is going to be available at the Lincoln Center it already uh, is. Library mm -hmm. for the Performing Arts. That's right, it right. is. Uh -huh. it already Fantastic. Is. But uh, Robert wants to produce his second show now to commemorate the availability of the collection. I think that'd be really wonderful. Because I just happen to be coming back here in October. <laughs> so to perfect host, timing. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'll be back in October. To, you know, I'm, I've been super involved with the dance world lately, working with the San Francisco Ballet. And I'm actually, it's the only time I can bring uh, members of the San Francisco Ballet and the Ballet Mines from Germany back to the uh, two. Uh, Got everybody in New York yeah, at, the <laughs> at the same time. So <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Well, well you're, you're watching uh, Let Them Talk. I'm Paul DiRienzo. Uh, I'm with Ms. Jo Marie Moussi, our guest, uh, Rumi Misabu, who's been here several times uh, right. on, uh, on our show, and uh, Eugene Sol. Mm -hmm. Welcome. And we're talking about the Cockettes and some work still active after all these years yes. and uh, <laughs> maybe for folks who just are wandering in what exactly I have two questions one are what exactly are the car cats how do they get started what do they do you know we ask that every time yes for right. folks and the other question is is what is the, uh, the this uh, interest that this fascinating interest throughout even mainstream society would drag okay uh, the Cockettes were a loosely based collective or commune actually that originally started in uh, the uh, uh, New Year's 6970 and lasted just two and a half years but I guess what we did was very liberating for others and we didn't realize uh, how politi political we were we were just out to have a party and have a good time and the shows were vehicles to get boyfriends but the press and the public <laughs> seemed to politi politicize ourselves so much it, it was they almost made this big deal about us that we didn't really know but originally we were 13. We were a commune of uh, 10 gay men, uh, three women, and people don't don't understand that there were women in it. A lot of people don't believe there were women. Mm. The women's presence was extremely important. I'm constantly defending them because they're not here defending themselves. And there was also an infant in the group, an actual <laughs> infant who's like 42 years old now <laughs> in Santa Rosa, this California. This is what happens. <laughs> but it's so easy to become a podcast. And as archivist for the group now, I recognize that. But anyone can just jump on stage from the audience if they were in drag and all the audience was just as stoned as we were and, <laughs> and dressed to the, the tits jump on stage and become a cockhead forevermore. So as archivist now, I, I, I count over 168 cockheads uh, alive or dead, but most, most of them are actually gone now. Most over 100 are gone mm. from the AIDS epidemic, from heroin. Mm. Uh, many, many are gone. So I'm here to keep the spirit alive. The cockheads are actually defunct. And there's no one else that's really keeping the spirit alive on a global uh, scope Except me right now. I'm the only one who's out there. There's Scrumbly's in San Francisco, a musical director for Pearls Over Shanghai, a, a play we've revived uh, from 40 years ago that I just got out of in October after reprising my role for two years in the thing. I think we, play, I think we played a clip of that we last did, time you were on. Uh, 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 that was I probably bowed out in October, and it's been extended now until uh, April of this year and possibly September. It's turned into the new Beach Blanket Babylon. That's so funny. <laughs> now, now my second question. Yes. What accounts for the fascination with even the mainstream public with, uh, with drag? I want to say it's what we were wearing. It's like every time you see a piece of glitter or a stud or a rhinestone, that's the cockettes. And Sylvester said something that was really important. He said that uh, when you walk down the street, Sylvester was a member of our group became, before he became a big disco legend. He said when you walk down the street and you see someone standing in a mud puddle and they invite you to join in and you do, that's the cockettes. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
But I, I, I don't know what the fascination is. I can't believe all the things and opportunities I've had. I, I hosted the 40th anniversary for the Cockettes at San Francisco MoMA last year. Yes, that's last year, another thing we discussed. Uh -huh. Absolutely. It was really a fantastic wonderful. occasion. Uh -huh. That was really wonderful to get to do that. And I've, I've been showing the films around the world. It's, it's a fascination that I'm not even aware of, but I'm so grateful for it. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I, I just wanted to give you your close-up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I've never had an opportunity to do that before. Thanks. So, uh, I've been working on another uh, film that I've just recently wrapped called Children of the Cockats. That's where Eugene comes in. It's uh, what has ins what's been inspired by us, what, uh, what our legend has produced since. And I brought a clip with me. It's by a Belgian filmmaker, Mr. Waugh. And uh, I'd like to show a little piece of that. It's a brand new clip, and I'll be showing... I'll be showing these films in their entirety at another event, my final event in New York, which is a Wednesday, February 16th, 16th yeah. at 7 o'clock as part of the Information Economy series, which is a, um, about art made on a shoestring back at Dumbo Art Center or DHC at 111 Front Street in Brooklyn, Dumbo. So come by. The event is free. I'm also going to have a, a number of... Um, uh, pieces of my Cockette memorabilia oh, auction fantastic. last night to raise money <laughs> for the performers, so it should be a wonderful event, so come by and, uh, Paul, are you ready to oh, Yeah, yeah let's show a clip of the Children of the Cockettes. All right, excellent. project yeah. to go on and see everything that that you've influenced over yeah. the years and so many people you have and mm -hmm. it's not just a part of the gay liberation movement but the human liberation movement Absolutely. I think. And it, it's incredible what we spawned and, and what what continues to come out of here to talk about a whole lot of things, show you some videos, and just have a fun time talking about the history, I guess in part the history of drag and other things that are happening that are so exciting. What makes a show a cockhead show these days? Psychedelia meets um, gay um, culture. You know, it's a combination of the old 30s, meeting the um, 60s psychedelic and beyond, you know, psychedelic music that's still being done. It's a nice blend of the two, Amagon, of uh, the two that was kind of continued through the Angels of Light and through Doris Fish and, you know, and Mark Hustis and people like that, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, maybe. You know, it's kind of the torch is still being carried. 
I love Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Where did the time go? I remember when you were but a wee queen. This but... salad is my house. I'm the mother, and uh, there's about 20 of us. And um, it's just kind of like a fun little playful mockery of the houses. A little fun thing we do to kind of like say that, you know, sometimes houses can take it seriously. Beauty, beauty, beauty. The cockets go back to 1969 or so, and they uh, put this uh, show on called Pearls Over Shanghai in 1970. Just uh, a couple months ago I got inspired by the idea of doing graphic pieces, uh, paintings of all the songs. I think there are about 22 songs. So I got my work cut out for me. I've done two complete. I've got my start on about three or four others and ideas for about ten others. I still have a couple songs that I waiting for the inspiration to mm -hmm. hit me. I have to go see the show a couple more times, probably. I'm taking a peek at them, and they are amazing, amazing works. I can't wait to see them when they're fully finished. Let's see, I guess it was about 2002 when we had these fabulous com camaraderie shows in his backyard when he lived in San Francisco, when he said I should do a song or two, and I had just been making up these songs and singing with records, so um, he had these great events. You know, I started getting my painting career back in shape a little bit you know showing a bit and um the thing about me i'm sort of torn between p performing and painting you know I, it's hard to, hard to do it all oh lord i'm in another world the sky is blue and sun is streaking sky feels so warm then comes another storm the clouds go flash and splash away the sky well, Rumi, that was uh, pretty interesting, and uh, thank you for uh, the plug for Let Him Talk. Okay, we oh, yeah. Part of the, part of I know, the all of a sudden I heard my voice. <laughs> Son of the cockhead. I forgot that we did it. Uh -huh. The children, children of the cockhead. Children. Children. Now you are children of <laughs> well, the Well, I saw all that Frankenstein stuff, and I said, made me think of uh, Bride of Frankenstein, actually. Oh, That's yeah, huh? Thinking of, right? That's mm -hmm. right, the Bride of Frankenstein. Right. Uh -huh. Bride of Frankenstein, right. That's sweet. Was some relative. <laughs> Oh. Well, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, so uh, let's uh, reintroduce. Um, this is Let Them Talk. I'm Paul DiRienzo. And uh, uh, Joni and I um, are welcoming uh, Rumi Misabu and, uh, and uh, Eugene Saul, mm -hmm. uh, who are here, children of the Cockettes and uh, the Cockettes. And we're uh, talking about drag in New York. So, uh, mm -hmm. And that was f a fascinating, sh like sort of, we saw what you're doing today in relation to what was happening in 1970, 40 years ago. Yeah. Hard to believe it's 40 years ago. I know, huh? <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> no one's more surprised I know. than us. <laughs> I know. We're like the most surprised, the 70s. Uh. Oh my God. Uh, so um, anyway. Uh, uh, well, let's run over yeah, where you're appearing, because happen. people are certainly going to want to see now. Why, so sure. Now that they've got a, uh, a little snippet of what we're up to. Uh, let me see again. I'll be uh, this Sunday night, uh, February 13th at uh, Dumbo Art Center at 111 Front Street in Brooklyn, Dumbo, beginning at 6 p.m. The event is free. Uh, we're doing a fabulous first act of uh, recreating uh, three numbers from the original Cockettes with a right. fabulous uh, new musicians and a bevy of beautiful dancers, including, including Eugene. Eugene. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> for joining us. Here. And Francois will be back uh, as a special guest in the second All hour. Right. Uh, as well as a number of groups. The Max Vernon Band is coming on, uh, Charlie Demos. Right. I'm really excited And let's about mention that. also, Francois is going to be at the kitchen. That's why Francois for the next is four four nights. Mm -hmm. his new piece, Mimosa, that's loosely based on um, his Paris burning right. with his company from Paris. And that begins tomorrow night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the kitchen. And that's at on 5 19th 12 Street. West mm -hmm. 19th Street. Right. And then uh, my uh, event. Valentine's Day will be at 9.30. We are recreating the concert we're doing at Dumbo at The Tank right. uh, in Hell's Kitchen at uh, 534 West 45th Street beginning at 9.30. Admission to charge for that uh, performance is $7 so donation at the door. Lots of opportunities mm -hmm. yeah. to see That's right. Rumi, Eugene, yeah. <laughs> get out there, mm -hmm. see Francois' dance piece at yeah. the kitchen. Uh -huh. and if you want to see any of these films we've just played, I've got one more short clip if we have time from the oh, okay, great. emergency. Uh, we'll play a, a couple minutes of it. All these films we'll, you saw clips from will be played in their entirety right. on Wednesday, um, 
February 16th back at Dumbo Art Center at 111 Front Street, beginning at 7 o'clock as part of the Information Economy series. Great. Uh -huh. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just setting that up. Uh, maybe we'll go out in the last couple of minutes of the show. Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, let's just introduce everybody. Thanks okay. a lot for joining mm -hmm. us. Uh, uh, Rumi Misabu and uh, Eugene Sol, Joni Musi, myself, Paul Durienzo. And uh, if we don't see you uh, before the end of this show, we'll see you next week. All same right. time, same channel. Here's a channel. glitter emergency. This one requires play twice. <laughs>